Hello everyone, Gebatron here. Welcome to episode 2 of MG Roll Tactics for the game Hell Let Loose. Don't worry, I do have other roles slated for these types of videos, but MG is my favorite role to play, especially as the Germans with the mighty MG42, so you're getting two of these in a row. The first episode was really small in scale and focused on holding down a relatively narrow firing lane. In this episode, we are going to open it up a little bit and show how the MG can achieve superior firepower on the battlefield and open up movement options for not only your squad, but the whole team. This is actually a little later in the same match as episode 1, so make sure to watch that video before this one. We were unable to move north from our Gary and G6 before the enemy took back the barn. Now as of update 10, this point no longer exists on this map, at least not how it is shown here, but this series is more about tactical principles than it is about map knowledge. Anyway, our options to spawn are pretty limited here, so I decide to spawn at the Gary and G7 in order to make my way over to where we have friendly armor and follow my squad lead to the supplies in H7. I got three infantry over there. You'll notice this is kind of a long hike and many of you may be thinking walking simulator and I'd just like to point out a couple of flaws with that way of thinking. First, I'm infantry. Infantry as in foot soldier, as in a military specialization that engages in combat and moves from place to place on foot. I will point out here that there are transport trucks in the game and they are wonderful tools. Check out the video in the top right corner to see some good use of a transport truck. Second is that a large portion of combat is won by the person in the better position. This is even more true for the MG where positioning is key and patience. Sometimes it takes a little bit of patience to get into a good position. Third, if you always wait for different squads to set up ideal garrisons for you to spawn, instead of going to those places yourself, you're going to be losing more games than you're winning. When playing as infantry, you're just going to have to get used to moving vast distances by foot. Moving on, we come up to our position and I'm pleasantly surprised that it has been fortified. This is now an almost ideal MG position. First, we have a place to set up our MG, other than on the ground, where grass can become an obstruction. Second, our left flank is more or less secure thanks to this destroyed tiger. Third, our right flank is secure as it is the edge of the map. The only places I can be engaged from is from the direct rear, where we have friendly activity so I'll know it's coming, or from our direct front. I only really have to worry about enemies near or at the barn itself. Right away we start taking fire from the enemy armor to our left. We simply won't be able to fulfill our role with that armor out there. But I also don't want to be a ghost. Some people will likely disagree with me here, but I don't give up on this position and I make myself known. Why? Everyone wants to take out the MG, so since I can't provide effective fire, I will provide an effective distraction. A bombing run has just went through which is good, but we just lost a truck of some sort to that enemy armor. It still isn't safe for us to assault the barn. But you can see here that the squad leader G.I. Puke has built a Gary and is on his way to talk to that tiger. He is setting the stage for our assault.
Right there on my ping is their their armor. Yeah, I got that ping. Their armor has been engaged. And is now destroyed. Time to do what the MG does best and provide firepower superiority. I begin to open up to establish it. Controlled burst fire on the barn and surrounding area will help to limit the enemy's movement while at the same time help to free ours up. You can see the assault begins. My squad leader is moving up to the right using smoke when he can. I'll try to keep firing squad lead. We have friendlies coming in from the Gary he built. Truck coming at you. They see I'm firing on the barn, giving them confidence that they can move so, through this field with minimal risk. Not a body yet. Here I lose a little bit of control, and you'll notice I have to reload quicker because of it. Try to Anybody avoid this. Did my OP get deployed? Oh, never mind, shit. That's okay, I'll just, I'm firing anyway, you know. Don't let smoke get in your way. Fire through it. Try to keep a mental picture of the target area in your head, so even if it becomes obscured, you can still lay down effective suppressing fire. If you see anything, ping it and I'll light it up. Fine. Looks like we got a good push going. We finally start swarming the point, and my fire is becoming more of a risk for friendlies, so it's time to move up. 
Now this was a success because of more than just the MG. We had friendly armor take out their armor, a bombing run went through shortly before we started our assault, we had a Gary at our assault starting position. All these things lead to our success here, but we provided enough firepower on the barn to effectively keep the enemy from occupying the right side of the barn, and because of that we were able to help roughly seven fellow teammates cross an open field of about 200 meters. Friendly were able to put up OPs near the barn, meaning a more intense and sustained presence. Also note that 200 meter distance. I see a lot of MG players in Hell Let Loose try to set up too close to known enemy positions. The MG fires a rifle caliber round, meaning it has very good ballistics at distance. I almost never try to set it up at less than 100 or 125 meters and will fire on targets up to 300 meters away, especially for the purpose of suppression. This position isn't as good as before as our entire right side is exposed. But from here I can cut off the enemy from moving into the barn. I am out of ammo. I run out of ammo which isn't good, but it's also indicative of something that is good. That means I've been doing my job at firing my MG and staying alive long enough to do so. Hey, I can drop some. It's good though. Ammo right here on the spring. Support players and riflemen are your friends here. There's a guy like yeah. somewhere. Fine. I go back to that position and do it all over again. Thank you. That helps a lot. Every once in a while, you're in the right place, right time. Found their OP, right there in my ping. Right in my trench. Well that's episode 2 of MG Roll Tactics. I tried to stress how setting up at distance and providing overwhelming fire can help limit the enemy's ability or even their will to move while freeing up our own team and giving them the confidence to move. In this example we were able to cross an open field of 200 meters. Not bad. This type of play comes in handy on the fields of Kursk too. Something to remember when getting frustrated on that map. No one MG can do it alone. It's always a team effort, but by doing some of the things presented in this series of videos, you can help project your team to victory. I hope you all enjoyed that and maybe learned something new or got some fresh perspective. Make sure to check out the description for more links, including a PayPal link to help the channel directly. There's also a Game Punch Community Discord link down there if you'd like to play with me or other knowledgeable Game Punch members. Thanks again for all your support and see you in the next one.